On the 5th of August 1950, a first generation Dove Blue panel van with chassis number 20-1880 rolled off the production line in the VW Wolfsburg plant. It was delivered to Hildesheim to enter into commercial service, performing its intended purpose of transporting goods from A to B. At the end of its working life, the VW Transporter vanished from sight for nearly 20 years, being held in private collections, and it wasn't until the early 1990s that an ardent fan brought it back into circulation. Following complete restoration, the vehicle is now in the VW Classic Vehicles collection, where it has been since 2014. On the 8th of March 1950, the Volkswagen plant began full production of the Type 2, the VW Transporter. Type 1 was the VW Beetle. The production of that had started before the Second World War and if you're interested to know more on that subject, I have done a video on it, calling it the greatest automotive fraud in history. But you're going to have to see the video to learn more about it. And I thought that was before the Second World War. This is after the, uh, the war. And this van, the Type 2, I think it's fair to say is the symbol of the German economic miracle, or the West German economic miracle. It is seen all over the country in the 50s and 60s. You've got uh, look at old films. And indeed today... It is still a cult classic van, even in its most recent format, the T6.1. And uh, the Dove Blue panel van with chassis number 20-1880 is also part of this German or West German economic miracle. For Hildesheim and its new owner, it is something very significant. It is the first van in Lower Saxony, as indeed it is everywhere else. For 23 years, it dashed around the roads and narrow lanes of Hildesheim before going into early retirement when the company that owned it sold it to a collector. From 1973 to 1992, the bully spends its time in the collections of various VW enthusiasts. The last owner tries to sell the vehicle via a specialist magazine. The first attempt, no, no success. Now this may seem strange today uh, as uh, there's so much demand for these old vehicles. And indeed, certainly for me, 1992 doesn't seem that long ago. But in those days, the demand for a used commercial vehicle was not particularly great. Only after multiple ads are placed, and as you can see here in the picture, this was at the time without a photo and with just three lines of text. And Tony L, or Tony L, from Denmark saw the advertisement. He calls up the seller, and after learning on the phone that the vehicle has the lowest chassis number known at that time for a bully, he buys it without even looking at it. In 1992, aged 42 and with less than 100,000 kilometers on the clock, uh, it is taken via breakdown truck to Denmark. As being off the road for 19 years, does no vehicle any good the essential parts first get replaced so that the bully can be driven again. Tony is immediately sure that he'll be keeping the vehicle for a long time and gives the van a name with a nod to the first VW bully ever delivered to Denmark. He calls his prized possession Sophie, which was the name the first vehicle too. In early 2000, he begins a costly and time-consuming program of full restoration, which ends in spring 2003 with a test drive to the VW meetup in Bad Camberg in Hesse, 
Germany. Tony was to make many more journeys with Sophie. Together, they covered over 20,000 kilometers driving around Europe, often going to bully meets where Sophie is always the highlight, often winning the most beautiful bully prize. And in any case, she's always the oldest one there. But not only is Sophie getting on in life, but Tony is too. And after a while, he feels he's getting on too much to be always on the road. And unlike Sophie, thanks to his loving care and joys the best of health, he's feeling sometimes a bit under the weather. He wants to stay at home more and place Sophie in good hands. But she is not to vanish again for years in dark private collections. Sophie is to be seen to travel to experience wonderful things with her new owner and to bring a smile to the faces of as many people as possible. While Tony is getting swamped by offers from collectors, a fateful encounter occurs on the periphery of a visit in spring 2014 by the Crown Prince of Denmark to Volkswagen commercial vehicles in Hanover. The accompanying importer mentions in passing that there is a 1950 bully in Denmark looking for a new home. Tony is soon contacted by Volkswagen old timer department. He is thrilled by the idea of Sophie potentially becoming an important part of Volkswagen commercial vehicles collection. Discussions continue for several weeks, culminating in his memorable line. I therefore prefer to sell Sophie to you where she'll still be able to make people smile. Volkswagen were delighted and in late 2014 Sophie came to Hanover. With tears in his eyes, Tony says on parting, I know it shall be the best here. He was proved to be right. Since then Sophie has always experienced a lot, made countless people happy and brought back many memories. As she did on her latest tour of several milestones in her life. Be it at the Wolfsburg plant in Hildesheim or in Hanover, as soon as Sophie drives up, there is a sort of clamour for selfies that uh, one usually associates with a film tar on their red carpet. She is the star of the bully cult. Sophie celebrated with a small group of her bully friends from Volkswagen Old Timer Collection, uh, 70th birthday. And this is what she got, a cake, and it's got seven spark plugs in it. So, well done Sophie, and uh, good luck for the next 70 years. So, um, I normally actually start my videos with a little bit of a technical description for you, so I'll give you to you the end now. So the engine's a rear air-cooled four-cylinder, four-stroke boxer engine, top speed 80 kilometers an hour, at 3,300 revs per minute. Engine size is 1,131 cc's. Unladen weight is 990 kilos. Payload is 760 kilos. And uh, the uh, power of it's 18 kW, or 25 horsepower at 3,300 RPM. What about the uh, dimensions? Well, that's the thing I normally start off with. And in this case, I'm gonna finish the video with them 410 centimeters long 100 centi 170 centimeters wide and 190 centimeters tall if you found this of interest thanks very much uh, for watching if you found it of interest then I do a lot more things uh, normally though on new vans uh, rather than old ones and normally video rather than photographs. All the photographs shown here actually belong to uh, Volkswagen, so uh, thanks to them for letting me use them. All the best from Poland.